We tried standard monetary policy, lowering the Fed funds target right down to near zero. It would transmit through the aggregate demand. Did it work? Hard to say. We tried monetary policy, Mark II, the kind we're doing in 2008. Massive lending facilities, buying out companies. Again, working through the transmission mechanism to aggregate demand. And now, since monetary policy seemingly hasn't worked great, we're going to try fiscal policy. Go right to aggregate demand. Here's an alternative way of doing it. So I marked the macro solution to our recession. What's the micro solution? The micro solution is go right to utility. Give people utility. Give them the stuff they really might want. Now you might say economists are silent about what's in the utility function. Yeah, in a sense we are, but look at the things I have on the board there. Sex and drugs and pushing people around. I think that gives pleasure to almost everybody I know. Give people that stuff. First go out there and ask people, can you handle this recession or not? My guess is that the vast majority of people will say they can handle it just fine. They don't need help from the government. For those who don't, give them utility. And play some numbers if you want to. 10, 20 million people at $1,000 a year or $10,000 a year. Doing it with this method would be a lot cheaper than doing it the macro way. They might say, oh, come on, you're not serious. This is silly and stupid. But look at the macro solutions we've been proposing. Bulldoze a million houses. Give money to the banks that made the worst loans. Give tax cuts to people who will spend it the most. Bring the immigrants in who will agree to buy houses. And all to the tune of trillions of dollars I'm going to have to pay back later. Which solution do you think is better? The macro solution or the micro solution?